Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. So I was recently feeling in the mood to make another big doll craft. So I did a poll over my community tab and you guys wanted me to make another doll bedroom. So that's what we'll be doing today. Let's just get right on into it. As you can see, I already have the base of the room built just because there wasn't really a point to filming it anyways. I did make the room with foam board. I'll quickly pop in the measurements for this room in case you do want to follow along and make one the same size. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but back from my all my doll buildings in room video, there was that one room with that huge bed and it was just one of those rooms that I haven't used and don't use at all. So I'm going to be using a few things from that room to put in here, starting with this nice big window. I think this looks so pretty and... I'm going to use this for this room over here. However, I want this window to be an actual window because at the moment it's just this piece of paper in the back. So what I'm going to do is first of all, rip off this city skyline background. Oh my. Now I'm just going to measure how big the inside part of the window is. And then I'm going to take those measurements and cut a hole out of this side wall. So for me, it is about eight by ten and a half. Before we continue on the window, I want to start covering the floors and walls of the room. And guys, believe it or not, I'm using a new flooring this time. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I always like to use the exact same wood grain flooring every single time. I'm going to glue in some flooring. I'm going to glue on this really nice flooring. I'm using this wood grain that I just printed offline. I'm gonna be using my favorite flooring. With no surprise, I'm using my favorite wood grain. But for once, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and use this one. And so using my glue stick, I'm just going to glue the pieces in place. As for the back wall, I want it to be this nice light pink dusty rose kind of color. So I started on the back wall and as I was going, I kind of realized that I like the look of just the bottom part being pink. And instead of continuing the wall, I think I'm just going to make the other walls pink at the bottom as well. And lastly, because I want this whole room to kind of be themed around white, pink, and black, I just cut some black strips of cardstock. And I think I'm going to glue them where the white and pink meet for like a trim. And I do think that looks pretty cool. I cut some long foam board strips and I'm going to glue them to the bottom of the room for baseboards. Now time to work on the window. This is the biggest piece of clear plastic that I could find and it almost covers the window. But to make things easier, I'm just going to glue it directly to this window cutout we have from earlier. And then I'm just going to glue that right in place. And on the back side of this wall, I have more foam board cutouts that I'm going to glue around for the frame. So it looks nice and clean from the outside. For the bed, I've once again stolen from that one room. This bed was already in it and I kind of wanted to put it to use. So I think I'm gonna be putting it in this room. It definitely takes up a lot of space, but I kind of wanted this room to have a larger bed anyways. I quickly sewed a black quilt and some white sheets for the bed that I'm going to flip over and then add a ton of pillows. So yeah, it's a lot of pillows, but I think the more the merrier, honestly. And then I just have this piece of pink fabric. I'm gonna kind of drape on the end of the bed. 
I have these fairy lights that I'm going to kind of wrap around the headboard of the bed. And I'm going to use tape to do that. Hopefully this looks good. And here's how it looks in all of its glory. I think I'm going to also just remove these two pillows here because we have quite enough already. I printed off a few different pieces that I think would look really nice in the room and coordinate nicely. So I cut them out. And also some long black strips of cardstock. I glue the black strips around the photos. Then use some tape and stick them above the bed. And oh my goodness, that looks so cute. I still have one left over, but I think it would be overkill if I tried to do four above the bed, but I'll find a place for this one later. Also, I think I'm gonna remove this gray pillow because I feel like it kind of doesn't go with the vibe I'm going for. Also, I love how this pink blanket looks at the end, but it also kind of doesn't coordinate with the pillows. Oops. And it's a bit of a different shade. So I think I'm gonna put this fluffy white fabric on instead. And I feel like that might just suit the room a little bit better. Now to make some end tables for the room, I cut four rectangles of black foam board, two of which are three and a half by two and a half inches, and the other half are three and a half by two inches. I glue the smaller pieces to one of the bigger ones. And then I glue the other bigger one on the back to make a sort of rectangular prism. I'm gonna trace the bottom of the end table onto some paperboard and cut that out. And I glue that down again and cut it out once more. And I'm gonna repeat this until I'm happy with the thickness. And then I have this sort of mirror paper that I'm gonna wrap our paperboard square in. And then I'm gonna glue that on top of the end table. I repeated that process with two smaller rectangles that I'm going to glue on the front to look like drawers. And lastly, because these edges on the black foam board don't look too pretty, I'm going to stick on some more of this mirror paper to, to cover those up. And then I place it into the room. And let's make a second one for the other side of the bed. I have these two mannequins again from that same room and I'm just going to kind of place them by the window over here. As for this side of the room, I want to put a little clothing rack over there to make a vanity for over here. I'm going to glue a two and a quarter by six inch foam board strip to a one by six inch foam board strip. I then have two pieces that are two and a half by five inches that I'm going to glue onto the sides. Then like with the end tables, I made another reflective piece for on top of the vanity and one for a drawer. And along with that, I also put some strips on the front here to cover up the raw edges of the foam board. And I'm just gonna place that over here. And I just realized that the fairy lights are off right now. I'm probably gonna forget to turn them on and off all throughout the video, but for now, let's keep them on. There we go much better. I made one more reflective piece that I'm gonna actually use for a mirror above the vanity. Wow, that's a lot of mirror going on over there. And now to make a little stool for the vanity, I have a strip of paperboard that is about a half an inch wide. I'm gonna wrap that around this glue bottle, cut it to the right length, and glue that in place. I'm going to glue this piece 
onto more paperboard and cut that out. I then have a piece of pink, like fluffy fabric kind of, and I'm going to cover this piece we just made in that fabric, tucking it underneath and gonna glue that in place. I cut four wooden dowels that measure three inches long and I paint them black. And then I'm going to glue these wooden dowels underneath the pink thing we just made for legs on the stool. And then I place it into the room. Over in this side of the room, I'm gonna place some little designer bags. I bought the printables for these from a shop on Etsy called The Doll Art Boutique. And so I just made these little bags that I think will go perfectly with the room. Here's another item I purchased from an Etsy shop called Marina's Dollhouse. It's a little mirror and I think it'll go perfectly in the room. I'm just going to peel off this film first. I printed out a ton more different photos in different sizes. And first things first, I'm gonna actually replace that middle picture back there with this one over here. This one looks more black and white and just better in my opinion. I'm gonna put a couple of the photos over on the vanity and over against this wall. And I actually ended up going with these three photos. And I'm gonna lean the last two photos over underneath the clothing rack. I'm gonna hang up some clothes on the clothing rack. And this is the arrangement I ended up going with. I also have some more fairy lights that I'm going to arrange around the vanity in hopes of creating a cuter little lighted area over here. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. It's a bit of a mess, but that's kind of how I wanted it to look weirdly. I don't know. And now I'll quickly show it with the lights off. Now, because this is a vanity, I feel it is only right to put some makeup on it. I bought these little printables from an Etsy shop called Lots of Littles Shop. And so I made a few things from there that I'm going to place onto the table. Oops. And then I just have a couple other smaller makeup pieces that I had laying around. That looks so perfect. I have this little mini Chanel purse I made a while ago now. And I'm going to hang this over the white mannequin. And then I have this heart necklace, which you'll recognize from my mini movie called The Locket of Truth, which if you haven't already, go check it out because I'm really happy and proud of that story. Anyways, we're gonna hang that one over the black mannequin. Actually, change of plans. I'm gonna put this mini pearl necklace on instead. I don't really know which one's better, but I'm gonna keep that for now. Either way, still do be sure to watch the Locket of Truth mini movie over here. I have some really cute mini magazines that were also printables that I bought from the same The Doll Art Boutique Etsy shop. And I'm gonna place them over on one of the end tables. Over on the other end table, I'm gonna place a couple more bags along with a mini phone. I also just have two more magazines I'm gonna place on the bed. In here we have this miniature Louis Vuitton bag, which is so cute. I got this from an Etsy shop called Marina's Dollhouse once again. And it is literally so adorable and I think will go perfectly with this room. Somewhere, I'm not really sure where yet. As of right now, maybe I'll just put it over here. Eventually I'll probably move it around, but I don't mind it leaning up against the vanity for now. The room is pretty much complete at this point, but I want to add a little bit of excitement to the window. I printed off the same backdrop photo I had on the window originally, but now it can actually go behind the fake glass and we could switch out the backdrops whenever we want. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this behind the window. 
I think that looks pretty good. It doesn't look super realistic because no light is actually shining through, but I could always just easily remove it, put in a different backdrop, or just use a big light to shine through some light into the room. Either way, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie, this has to be my favorite room ever. Like, literally ever. If my room looked like this in real life, I would be the happiest person ever. But unfortunately, it does not. Not even close. I really hope you enjoyed watching me put this room together. I know lots of pieces I already had previously, and I just kind of plopped into the room, like the window and the bed. But hopefully I inspired you either way and gave you some ideas for a room you can make yourself. Also make sure to check out all the different Etsy shops that I purchased from for the items in this video. They'll all be linked in the description box below and their items really helped to bring this whole room together. Comment below and let me know what you think of the room and which part of the room is your favorite. I think the little vanity area over here has to be my favorite part of the room. But yeah, let me know yours. Also, let me know if you want to see more videos like this because they are super fun for me to make. I love building doll things like this and big scenes and rooms and stuff like that. Now, before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Firefly2, Kelly Franlin, and Emma Villarreal. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you need a chance to give a shoutout, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out my channel, and I appreciate it so, so much. With all that being said, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye! you out of my mind it's like i feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night i've been searching for this all my life you're just my type i've been looking for a boy who can treat me right your dark hair with those eyes so bright they look into my soul and it sparks my life can i take you there like it was the first time do you remember can i take you there